Welcome back to the blend. Revenge, seduction, and tons of action can be found in the new flick, Outlaws and Angels. It is debuting one week from today and is the debut film of Las Vegas local JT Molnar, who co-owns Franklin Brothers Haunts. Absolutely. JT is live with us this morning with a sneak peek into the movie. Great having you. Congratulations. Thank you for having me. It's been a big year for you. It's been a crazy year. It's been a crazy year. We, uh, we opened a new show at the... Haunted House last year, The Coven of Thirteen. Which, by the way, you came. Oh, <laughs> terrifying! You've, you've been building haunted houses with Dad since when? 2003. But my father opened the company in '92 uh, with my older brother, wow. and my dad actually started scaring people in our backyard in uh, in, in 1977. So it's <laughs> As been a, a kid, long Halloween history. Was yeah, for yeah. You. I was given fangs and and uh, and and stuff since I was like four. So it was uh, <laughs> it, it was a crazy upbringing. Yeah, that's yeah. Awesome. My dad, Duke Molnar, yeah, and my mom, Ginny. And to go Duke from that Jimmy. back as a four-year-old with the fangs to yeah. today, I mean, this movie, uh, it, it was premiered at Sundance. I mean, this is awesome. It did. That it did. It was huge. a dream come true to premiere at Sundance. Um, we, uh, you know, we made the film in August and submitted a rough cut to Sundance, and we got in. So That's awesome. We ended up premiering there, and now we're getting a theatrical nationwide release, and, and we're getting uh, one screen in Las Vegas, which is, which is great news. Tough to get. Um, yeah. yeah, AMC Town Square, mm -hmm. and uh, just really excited that it's going to be available for people to see in Vegas, because obviously Vegas is a tough market for kind of Sundance movies, and, yes. yeah. um, and uh, we're just really excited to have it here. And why awesome. was that important for you to have it here in Vegas? I mean, I'm born and raised. I'm a Vegas native, you know, yeah. and, uh, and two Vegas locals are in in the film. My dad, Duke Molnar, is actually nice. one of the stars of the movie. <laughs> that, and, he is uh, contractually yeah, obligated to give him a role. He is, he is. He's, he's playing the sheriff in the opening scene. And uh, John Lombardo, who used to be the star of Tony and Tina's Wedding, is oh actually, my goodness. Uh, he's in the film as well. He gets, oh. he gets knocked out by Luke Wilson. So uh, you get to see him in the movie. But the Good movie stars Chad Michael Murray and Francesca Eastwood. And uh, Chad Michael Murray is in a role like you've never, ever seen him before. Mm. Um, and, uh, and Francesca Eastwood, uh, her, her mother, Frances Fisher, um, and her father have, have passed on some really good charismatic uh, movie star genes. She's uh, establishing right. her own legacy here and, and really does a tremendous job. And, and the, the premise, outlaws and angels, I mean, we can only assume and we can only guess, but does it have anything to do, I mean, there, are there Vegas ties to it? Uh, I mean, they're outlaws. Yeah, there, there we so, go. Uh, this whole place was founded on outlaws. We were, there we go. Yeah, uh, no, it's, uh, you know, it's about... It's, it takes place in the Old West, but it's kind of, I call it a, a feminist home, home uh, invasion drama. It's, uh, it's, it's got flashes of, of violence, and we really wanted to show the violence in a realistic way. We wanted to show the repercussions of violence, because okay. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a guy who, who definitely feels like violence should be taken seriously and showed in an honest way. Mm -hmm. um, so in this day and age, huh? Absolutely. And, and leaving this film, you should really, um, it should turn your stomach, certain scenes. Uh, and we kind of... We set up the general archetypes uh, that you're used to in the American Western in the first act, and then in the last two acts, we kind of rip those those genre archetypes to shreds and and create something new and different. So one thing I can say is that love it or hate it, people who go see this film will uh, will will see something different than they've seen in the genre. And uh, it's important to know that we shot on Kodak motion picture film um, as opposed to video. A lot of modern lower budget movies are shooting on, on video. Yeah, yeah. and uh, and we did not shoot on video. We shot on Kodak. And we really wanted to, we underexposed the film. We shot on vintage Panavision lenses and Very cameras. Good. And we really wanted to give it kind of a textured, grainy, old photograph feel, kind of like a, a film that was pulled out of the vault from the 60s. So sure. Absolutely. Is that what's happening in the industry right now? How about the, what's going on with that and shooting on film versus yeah. video? Is it well, popular? like I said, film versus vi video is really, uh, it's, it's been a battle over the last few years, and film is having a great resurgence right now. Um, yeah. All the major winners at Cannes were Kodak. Um, most of the winners at, at the Academy Awards were Kodak. Yeah. Um, and Kodak's having a huge resurgence in large part because of, uh, because of uh, big directors who are insisting on shooting yeah. film, and then up-and-comers like me who fight for it. Yeah. And, uh, and so I will say to all the directors out there who are making films for you know, a million bucks or below, uh, even on a low budget, you can afford to shoot on film because you'll get crew for cheaper, everybody will be more focused and efficient, mm -hmm. and uh, you'll get, just get a better look. You'll have a better ch a chance to play at places like Sundance and, and get on the big screen. Well, we I'm are so, so happy proud of you, man. Congratulations. Haunted houses to the big screen, baby. Thank you I'll so never let her go to the haunted houses. You gotta come. This guy's... No, we're this scared to death of the haunted houses. We're putting a camera on our head and we are going through all of them. I'm oh. Gates of Hell, you've got to come. Is that put the, a camera. The, Gates of Hell is the rated R full the contact one where haunted I, house. My body full contact? Shook. Full contact. Yes. Full contact. No way! Outlaws and Angels opens Friday the 15th at AMC Theaters in Town Square. It's directed by Las Vegas native JT Molnar. And if I uh, want showtimes, just head to the website on your screen. Full contact.
Please. It's fun. And then God. you get shook by some sort of chain link fence. I didn't play football because there was full contact. Oh, Maybe. God. Oh, scared. Be full contact. Oh. Are you scared? A little bit. Are you scared now? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Still the cover of the